welcome my dear students an elementary school classroom in islam by stephen spender multiple choice question 31 to 40 before starting the chapter today i would like to share with you the images used by the poet stephen spender has made extensive use of imagery in his poem mainly to highlight the message of the poem and the central theme some of the most important images that come to my mind and uh, their relevance includes the following one number 1 there is a the word gusty waves the image symbolizes here about the energy movement things that are missing in the lives of the children in the slum then there is one term uh, rootless weeds uh, the image symbolizes here rootlessness the lack of permanence it signifies uncertainty uh, drifting where the winds blow lack of direction and control over one's fate then question number 3 Uh, sorry uh, the third one is uh, rat's eyes yes rat's eyes weigh down head twisted bones so these are the images pertaining to the condition of the children in the school they are malnourished hungry and weak similarly there is a term sour cream walls the image symbolizes here dullness gloom an atmosphere of hopelessness and overall sense of four boarding similarly lead sky so it symbolizes gloom darkness feeling of being in prison boxed in a feeling of being trapped in prison inside a slum trapped in poverty then there is a word slag heap spectacles of steel uh, bottle bits on stones so this is an image that reminds us of an industrial wasteland a junkyard with junk made of iron and steel all symbolizing a sense of living on top of a wasteland a garbage dump or a junkyard so there is a strong sense of dehumanization of the children same way cramped holes the children in the slum school live in cramped spacious so there is a sense of overcrowded home and life of compromise then green fields gold sands green leaves so these are the images that represent the world of progress freedom prosperity and general well being so this is the world that has been denied to the children in the elementary school classroom so i hope you have understood the imagery used and now it is time for mcq question number 31 what attracts the slum children the options are a the animals b the movies c ice cream and d all beautiful things like shape sun etc question number 32 What do the words from fog to endless night mean? The options are A bright light outside, B bright future, C hopelessness and D dark and uncertain future of slum children from birth to death. Now question number 33 mention images used to explain the plight of the slum children options are a open handed map b from his desk c build flowery and d foggy slums and bottle bits on stones question number 34 what blots the maps of the slum children options are a garbage b blockage c stones in the streets and d dirty slums question number 35 what does the poet show through expressions 
so blot their maps with slums as big as doom and the options are a his clot the street b enjoy the maps c big maps d poets protest against social injustice and inequalities now question number 36 What do the governor, inspector, visitor in the poem depict? The options are A, higher officials; B, government officials; C, political people; D, powerful and influential people. Now, question number thirty-seven. what have the windows done to the children's lives in the poem the options are a shut the doors b blocked the passages c clocked the sunlight d have shut the children inside and blocked their growth Now question number 38 What other freedom the poet wants the slum children to enjoy the options are A freedom of roaming here and there B freedom to spend money C freedom to eat and the last option D freedom of knowledge wisdom and expression so now we are going to the last two questions question number 39 and 40 question number 39 what does the expression brick o brick open suggest options are a barriers on the road b barriers of garbage heap C barriers of dirty environment must be broken and D none the last question for today is question number 40 what does the poet want the options are A the poet wants to send the children out of the slums B he wants to send the children to america C he wants to send the children to open world and last one is d he wants to send the children to a beach so this was all from my side question number 40 we have done and now it is time to show you the answers so let us see what are the answers yes question number 31 the correct answer is d 32 d 33 again d 34 35 36 37 38 the same correct answer d means 31 to 38 the correct option is d question number 39 the correct option is c and question number 40 the correct answer is a so thank you very much and wait for the next video till then goodbye